Hello everyone, this is Dr. Divya Bhattaria, Dean Corporate and Industry Relations, United Group of Institutions, Prayagraj. We all know that we provide many job opportunities on campus through United Group of Institutions. And this is good that students are doing very well. They are learning, they are getting training at the campus itself. And then they are getting a lot of job opportunities. But we try to encourage our students. We think that if they have their skills and their areas of interest, if they have better opportunities off campus, we do encourage that they apply for that. Recently, one of our students, Ajita Agrawal, got a very good opportunity. She applied for Geeks for Geeks and she cracked the interviews. There are various steps of the selection process. And she got the role, she got the offer for the role of SDE, that is Software Development Engineer Trainee. And uh, then uh, we are trying to give her that NOC kind of thing so that she can join the organization as well. She's in seventh semester. So we present before you Ajita Agrawal. So welcome Ajita. Okay, thank you ma'am. So Ajita, uh, there are some questions which are there in students' minds, even we would like to ask you from uh, ask you, so that the students are aware of everything, so that they can also go ahead with these kinds of opportunities. So the first question is that, what is this Geeks for Geeks all about? How did you apply for that? Okay, first of all, thank you for asking me this question. I'm like thrilled that I'm to discuss about it. So like firstly, Geeks for Geeks, as all we know, is a well-respected platform where we learn, where we explore, and we give competition, where we practice things. And it also gives various platforms of development also, like to work with. So like I've got an opportunity of being a software developer engineer in Geeks for Geeks. So uh, that is a very a good opportunity for me and I'm like really thrilled to work and know more about it. How did you apply for that? From where did you come to know about it? As I was like searching for various jobs on LinkedIn, so like there was this page, I was following this page and it said like they are hiring for SD intern role. So like I just went to the profile. I also worked in various startups before. Uh, so like I had an experience in the backend development. Uh, so like I just thought it matched my skill set. Uh, so like I just asked for reference on LinkedIn and like yeah. So like my resume was shortlisted. Uh, so like the HR called me to schedule my interview. So like it was time pay semester started. So like I asked him. So like I I have to give my semesters. So like to ask him to schedule it later. So like after my semesters, like I had to work a lot. I, of course a lot. Like I didn't get a time uh, for free. Right. So like to enjoy. Yes ma'am. Right. Uh, so like the first was the DSA plus database round. So like sorry interviews here are one hour straight. Okay. Yeah. So like I got a mail uh, I got a mail a day before. So like it was uh, 4 to 5 pm like in the evening the next day. Uh, so like it was the DSA plus database round. So like what was that? Uh, okay, so Usme kya hua tha? He like there was uh, two questions. Like firstly, like he asked me introduce yourself. So like everyone asks about the introduction. Okay. So that that should be top notch. That is the most important thing. Yeah. Introduce yourself. Introduce yourself. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so like that was the first thing. And uske baad unhone two questions puche the mat se. That was like uh, very standard questions actually. Uh, so the the first one as far as I remember was uh, the maximum product of the salary. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so like, pehle he was asking me ki like, uh, tell me about the approach, ki, like how will you approach this problem? Because they ask is in this way because unko bhi pata chana chahiye ki like, bache ko aata hai ki nahi aata. Like mm -hmm. how he is explaining himself, how he's trying to tell the concept about it. Like first right. I explain it, and like then I had to quote it down. So that I just quote it down. Like it took me around I guess 15 to 20 minutes for the first question. And like the next one as far as I remember was the maximum occurrence of a particular element in an array. Yeah, so like I had to tell him the approach and like what can be the optimized solution. So like I just did that as well and uske baad like there was few theory questions. Uh, like I just did it well because I, I recently gave my semester so like right. some mind prepared for that. Yes ma'am, okay. yeah. It was all in the mind as well and uske baad there were few SQL queries. So like he asked about the SQL queries as well, like that thing I've uh, learned in my previous semester. So that was in my manual. So like I practice it. Okay. So like I just did that and uske baad, like it ended at, uh, at the five. Like he asked me if there is any question to ask. It took around one hour? One hour, yeah. Every interview is for one hour. Arjita, you have given us a lot of information about the organization and about the selection process. Now your profile is SDE, yes. intern, right? What is this uh, profile for? What are the job roles and responsibilities? And another question in continuation to that would be, how the students should prepare themselves for this particular role? Because this is the most sought after role. So please, 
to provide us this information. Okay, the profile is about software development in general. So like basically my role will be of the backend developer. Like if there is this Django framework, I have to work on that because in the entire Geeks for Geeks works on Django and like on the front end they use React. Firstly, they train me in the Django process, Django framework, and then they will deploy me in React as well. So it will be totally a full stack development process. And like for the preparation pur purpose, so like uh, for the interview questions, I went for interview bit because they provide a wide variety of questions. So like Maha said, like you can just record everything step by step. Mm -hmm. And like there was few tutorials on YouTube and I had a course on Udemy. Uh, so like I just okay. went through it. Like I just gave six hours daily for the preparation. Udemy is a good platform. Yeah. Right. Udem is a really good platform and like I had to give 6 to 7 hours daily because it had to be that way. So which subjects should uh, students prepare like they can uh, start understanding the concepts and the applied part as well? Okay. So, so like the first thing DSA is the must, like it is the must, everyone should know that. DSA is like uh, you can just go for arrays, linglets, stacks, queues, so like the uh, like they can pr uh, prefer to the striver sheet, like that is a very good shape. To, like every, sorry, interviews me usi se hi basically so like it will give a precise concept because questions to bahut sare padne ke liye you have to shortlist and learn so like that is the best thing and you were learning from geeks or geeks as well yeah from okay. geeks or geeks only i was learning uh, yeah and like i just practiced the striver sheet as well so like that has a very good point since you are going to join this organization now you have got the go ahead from your department as well where do you see yourself five years from now what is your career plan suppose you get any good better opportunity in between then what would be your career idea and is there any specific message for the students for your classmates or even for your juniors you can share with us well firstly i would like to stick with this uh, company for like a year or so for that i can like gain all the all the skills which i have to develop all the learning and how to manage things and like lastly for the five year plan like i want to see myself in a managerial role like i want to lead my own team so like i can be a boon for them also and they can learn from me Right. Yes. So I think uh, students have you know different attitude, aptitude and attitude. There are two important things that they have to judge within themselves. So after my self exploration, career exploration, after this journey, ke start start mm -hmm. So definitely you will try to understand that what you want, which are the areas which you are going mm -hmm. to be fitting, and in what ways you are going to contribute towards the organization. Mm -hmm. So we wish you all the best for your wonderful journey that you are going to start with. And uh, stay in touch because through you we can guide the students and also we will be there to help you out in your different endeavors related to your career journey. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Now one last question. Any message for the students community? Okay, yes. Hello guys. So like I am very thrilled and excited for this opportunity. So like I will say like this is the stage of learning and exploring. So like you have to explore yourself to the very extent. Like if you enjoy your work, you will succeed. Eventually you will succeed and you can go wherever you want. So just learn and explore yourself. That will be my message for you. Thank you.